What's good, guys? You're on the link up. And, of course, Echo Room Live. And today we're having another fantastic guest. Fantastic episode is about to be. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one of the most talented artists in this country, Lighter. What's good, everyone? How <laughs> yeah, you doing? supposed to be clapping in yeah, the background. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all of that. Killing Shelly How you doing, man? I'm good, brother. You look great. You look great, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Your stylist you is, is on point. Shout out to s Okay. Yeah. Though it took a while before he showed up. <laughs> uh, well, it was worth the wait. <laughs> All right. Um, it's nice to have you here. Um, there's so much to talk about, as always. But I think in as much as a lot of people know you and love you, I don't, I don't think a lot of people have so much knowledge about what your background really is, like where you're actually coming from. People know where you're from, but yeah. where you're coming from. Now, this is what I mean. Um the circumstances of your childhood, how you lived uh, from day to day. You know, a lot of people would say, oh, we didn't have food to eat at home. It was one square meal a day. Mm-hmm. And, you know, a lot of people trying to do poverty competition, even <laughs> when they lie, you know, that all of that you. stuff. Yeah. yeah, started from the bottom, now we're here. Meanwhile, they're not really the bottom yeah. ever. All of that yeah. stuff, basically. Now, everybody knows you're from Ajegule, mm-hmm. right? Oh, some people might not know. Yeah, I know that. What else? Tell me about how your childhood really was. Mm, it's not really easy, yeah, you know, life in Ajegule and uh, like every day different different war zone. Like you just want to like struggle and make sure you make it out and uh, so that's that that has just been my own mentality since like I was seven years old. Like because mm. I've seen everybody like the way they are moving, like you, we are not really serious out here. Maybe I can just be one of those boys that are serious. And that's why I'm here today, like, straight, straight. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Now, um, some people have come on this show to tell me that Ajegunle is split into two parts. Some parts where they okay. Not the streets. And I'm talking about people <laughs> where understand. they okay, that yeah. live okay. <laughs> and then there's the hood hood. Mm, Which part are you from? Uh, no, really. No, really. Oh, really? There's no, like, two parts. Everybody inside a Jegule. Is hood. Is hood. Straight Complete hood. Complete hood. But if we just want to act like, okay, let's let's just act normal for a while. Maybe mm. those ones, they, they have their own OT. They know how to act right outside. Mm-hmm. And, you know, so people mm-hmm. will be like, oh, these ones are different. No, we are, we are just one. One a Jegule, so... So were you living in Face Me, I Face You? Yeah, I'm living in Face Me, I Face You. How many, how many, how many kids... Uh, did your parents have? Um, five. I'm the last one. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Okay. Nice. So, is it a situation where the last one is the breadwinner, or is, mm. is, that, is that what it is? Uh, I don't know. It's just the voters of all of us. We are all like us last, like my sisters, my brother. Like we are, got, we got our eyes on the prize. Like every time, we just want to make sure we make our cause. That place is very bad for mm. us. And you, uh, ever since you made it out, yeah, did you ever go back to we, you know check on stuff? Every time, every time. But I haven't gone there this year though. I haven't been to Ajegu like this year. But you go almost every year. Yeah, almost every. But year. what do you do? What do you do to try to develop the I community? I just play with my friends. Do I used to play with them? Cause I can't. That's one thing I can't like leave behind me. Like forget how to play with my friends and like maybe a little advice if I can give them. I'll give them because sometimes I'm always shy. I'll just be like, yeah, that's true. Stay Yo, play you seem like a shy guy. Chop something and do mm. Okay. Now, let's talk about your career. Um, the first major blow that, you know, we heard about was, uh, um, I think it was a collaboration with Olamide yes. at the beginning of your, uh, at the beginning of your career, basically. Yeah, How did that happen? Um, I met someone at um, Agege, Ibrahim. Yeah. His name is Ibrahim. So he was the one that took me to his show um, January 1st, 2018 at Abi Okota um, for, for IBD Dindi, Happy New Year, all this yeah. ceremony. And also, like, I met Olamide there and Reminis, other artists, I think nice too. So I performed. So he saw me perform time. The one I featured Junior Boy on yes. it. <laughs> so he was like, yo, I like this song. Like everyone around him, they really like me. They were like, oh, yo, nice one, nice one. And that's how he started. He collected my number and I have his own too. How so, long How long did you wait before he called you? Uh, I don't think it's up to a month. And he two. called you? Yeah. Did you collect his own? 
Yeah, and I disturb him like. You dis- <laughs> I disturb him like, Baba. Also, um, your boy is still here. Hope you don't know, forget me. And also, like, I just make sure everything went right with him. And then, how did it finally happen when he called you? Um, well, it sounds like a dream, cause. I don't even believe him, cause as I don't did this to I don't be like, oh wow, she this man go answer me again like this, cause I'm still in Nigeria back then, and I didn't tell oh, any really? of my friends. I'm just keeping it looking like, oh my god, I don't want any yawa again, and also for the good tip, allow me the number for yeah, your phone. So he just, he just, <laughs> he just called me one night, or maybe I think it's one evening. He just texts me like, yo, we are shooting for time, but we are recording again with Heidi Kabasa first. So come with Uncle Ibrahim and I was like, wow, thank you, sir. So I went with my uncle, Uncle Ibrahim, that took me to Abiy So mm. he took me to Alamide studio. So from there, we record the remix for time, me yes. and Then we shoot the video. From there, we Who started Who paid working. for the video? It was the one that paid for the video. Alamide. He featured on the song and, yeah, paid, and for paid for the video. Yeah, paid for the video. Wow. And... The well, the rest is not history because yeah, there's so much that's yeah, happened after. So but yeah. now, at what point you were, you were, weren't you announced as an official artist of YBNL? Mm. Yes, you were. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But some records say that you didn't have an official paperwork. Yes, I did have an official paperwork. How how did that happen exactly? Because he's showing love, like that. That's what it does. Like Olami, they show love. Did you know he was showing love then? I know. You knew he was showing love yeah. even without the paperwork? Yes. Okay. Because, like, I've met him, like, a couple times, and we had a great conversation. Like, everything just, just stuck in my head. Like, I really, like, owed it because, you know, we know, nobody really knows tomorrow. So, like, yes. everything that's up today now, so I don't really know. I don't know about it. But, exactly. Like, all those conversations and the um, advice, like, I still did it in my hand, and mm-hmm. that's why, like, I'm here today, and by the grace of God. So they said, uh, I mean, according to reports as well, mm-hmm. it says um, that you decided to 